Welcome everyone to a new Let's Play on the channel. So we're jumping into Insurmountable. It's a game that I found on the Epic Games Store and it's just climbing a mountain, I believe. There will be stories along the line, but we will see. Let's experience it together. I'm not sure what we're heading into. So uh, this released just this year, 2022. So let's just jump into a new game. Normal difficulty. Uh, insurmountable is extreme difficulty. Okay, we're going for a regular, normal difficulty. Um, so yeah, let's experience this together. I'm not quite sure what we're heading into. Saw some uh, simple things on the page that suggested it's just a story-based game. So we'll see. All right, someone's climbing a mountain. Okay, that's our summit, I guess. Insurmountable. Yes, please. All right, um, I am collecting some orbs. Okay, movement. In order to successfully complete a mountain, you have to navigate your character along the tiles to the marked goal. Time will not pass and your stats will not change until your character moves. Left click a valid tile to add a checkpoint to which the character should move. You can add more checkpoints by clicking on other valid tiles. Click on the final checkpoint again to start moving. Right click to stop the character or to remove the final checkpoint. Alternatively, you can press the move button to move or stop your character. You can also use the speed button to make your character walk faster. This effect does not impact your stats in the game. Okay. You can open the tutorial again at any time via the pause menu. Copy that. You cast your gaze over the enormous mountain landscape. You have traveled across the globe seeking out adventure, but this island is like nothing you have ever seen before. I'm on an island? A mountainous island, I guess? As far as you can tell, it is largely unexplored. The only information you can find were a few rumors about an unknown occupying force. Outcome is unknown. Okay. On the way here, you stumbled across abandoned property and lost pieces. You wonder what happened here, what secrets the island is keeping. Then you shake your head and might be nice to have some answers, but your goal is, un your goal is clear. Reach the summit. That is why you are here. That is what drives you. Okay, so we've got an interactable here, I guess. First steps completed. Um, so I guess we just keep going. So it's kind of plays like civilizations, you know? Huh. Let's see. Guess we keep going. We've got a tree that's fallen down or shrubbery that we have to walk around, I guess. Let's go. I mean, this hexagonal pattern just looks like civilizations. Okay. We've come up. Okay, camera control. I'm using the V key and move the mouse to look around. Um... Move the mouse while holding the middle mouse button to rotate the camera. Zoom in by scrolling with the wheel. Okay, sure. All right. Yep, yeah, that is pretty common. Okay, we've got an interactable here, I guess. Oh, a gust of wind catches you and you almost fall into a deep fissure. You flail wildly with your arms, trying to keep your balance. Suddenly someone grabs your wrist and pulls you back from the edge. That was close. Just a second later and you would have fallen to your death. You sternly tell yourself that you really have to pay more attention. You need to press your luck when there is danger at every turn. Oh, no need to press your luck when there is danger at every turn. Your knees still weak, you take a look at your rescuer. She's a young woman in a threadbare anorak. There is a green stone fastened around her neck with a leather strap. Fascinated, you stare at the hand-carved charm. Its glo soft glow is almost hypnotizing. The stranger coughs and, without saying a word, holds out some provisions for you to take. Accept the gift. You want to give her something in return, so you search through your pack. You finally find something and look up, but the strange woman is gone. Bizarre meeting, but you can't help but be grateful for her help. We gained an oxygen bottle. 35% of max stat value uses left one out of one. Um, continue my journey, I guess. So we have oxygen. Okay, inventory and items. You can access your inventory by pressing the button on the screen or using the corresponding hotkey. You can only access your inventory when your character is standing still. Certain items are consumed when they are used, and other items can be equipped to your character and remain active when equipped. Right-click items with the mouse to use them. Okay, uh, click and hold the left mouse button to drag and drop items to other slots. When you find an item, you can put it into your inventory or you will lose it when you close your inventory. Some items can be used multiple times as indicated by the usage bar on the item. If an item cannot currently be used, it is displayed in a darker color. 
you can view more information about an item by hovering your mouse over the item. This will display a preview of the item's effects. Interesting. So yeah, we can see uses left one on one left click to move, uh, right click to use it. The item would have no effect at the moment. Okay. I guess we can drag it onto equipment. There's a, oh leftovers. I have to put it in my backpack. Okay. So this leftovers is what's going to get tossed. Backpack is what I store right now, which is quite a bit of stuff. Okay. Confirm. Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Should we go this way? Let me see. Where's my summit? Summit is up there. Oh my god, that's a long way to go, man. A long way to go. Um. There's another interactable over there. How do I get up there? What is the path? This is going to be a long journey, guys. I'm going to go up here. Oh, wow. She is climbing. Does that waste energy? I would assume that this is a lot more difficult than walking around this soft terrain. Okay, let's see. Another interactable right here. Let's see. Hmm. I mean, it looks beautiful. Doesn't seem like an island, but okay. On a vegetated rocky plateau, you spot a hunched old woman searching along the craggy rocks for edible plants and berries. When she notices you, she smiles and holds out some herbs. Hmm. What do I do? Status, I lose energy. Time, 5 hours and 29 minutes. Um... But I gain 3.2, what is this, awareness? Or oh, sanity, I gain sanity, but I lose energy. Oh, okay, so it shows the effects here. Outcome is unknown if I take the herbs. Hmm. Let's help the woman. I want to be kind. You climb into the plateau and search for herbs as well. You crawl around on all fours, but you find nothing edible. You make apologetic gestures, but the woman smiles at you again and hands you some of her harvest. Okay. So I wasted energy there. It was a bad call. All right, whatever. It is what it is. We're experiencing this together. So this is unmovable terrain. Okay. Oh, I think I have five moves left. Or no, I don't know. I guess this is the only way forward. Let's go. Uh, losing a lot of energy here. Four tile movements, I guess. We need to rest at some point. What is this? Experience points. Okay, so XP is important too. What is this? Oxygen. Okay, we haven't used any oxygen yet. I guess we're still in very um, breathable air. We haven't reached anywhere too high that requires oxygen masks. Okay. Can I get up there? Okay, she can climb. Okay, let's go. I mean, I'm wondering how she's climbing. She is pretty good at climbing with her hands. Maybe she's Spider-Man. Oh, do not move. You freeze here, please. Okay. I guess this is the only way up. So let's keep going. Oh, there's treasure over there. Hmm. I don't know. I'm losing sanity by the minute, I guess. Um... Oh, nightfall. How does one get there, though? Okay, a jingling fills the air around you, harmonious and melodious, followed by the sound of falling rain. You follow the sound to discover tubes of metal and wood tied together in a bare treetop, dancing and striking each other in the wind. That's like a wind catch or like a... Uh, yeah, whatever that is, chimes. You watch the wind chimes and lose yourself in the fleeting mel mem mel melodies. You regain health or sanity. I don't need health, right? Yeah, my health is full. My sanity is pretty full as well, but I think sanity is more important right now. Oh, no, I have to go back for that treasure. All right, screw it. We're going to this treasure. Oh, wait, I actually have to go this way because I have to continue, right? I'm unsure. I'm unsure which route I have to take. Oh, there's something down there too. Oh, I have to go down this way, this way. Okay, okay, okay. Sleep. Sleeping is a good way to restore energy. There are three ways to do this. You can look for a cave symbol on the map. Okay, so that's a cave, I think. Uh, make the camp there. You can use a tent from your inventory. Each tent can be used up to three times. Oh. Uh, you can also sleep without a tent. This has a negative effect on your stats, so it should only be a last resort. Oh, you see, this is, must be a German game because it says Schlafengehen, uh, Rast. 
Zeithaltbarkeit, so how many times you can use it, or uh, the length of use, Zeit verwenden, to use time, Schlafdauer, how long you want to sleep, kurz schlafen or lang schlafen, okay. Interesting, these guys are German. Didn't think that would be the case. Hmm, it is getting freezing, it's nighttime, and what is this? Huh. Not sure what the yellow orange bar means. Maybe that's going to be dangerous. I think I got to use my tent. I'm going to use my tent right here. Wow, look at how many treasures there are there. Okay. A thin whistle of smoke rises up into the sky in front of you. You turn a corner around the wall of a cliff and discover a campfire. Flames already licking the sides of the cans placed around it. Um, I collect snow and put it on the fire. Put out the fire? No, I do nothing and continue my journey. Stamp on the fire and put it out. Why not use it? No? Okay, let's stamp on it and use it up. Use your feet trying to move quickly as you kick the glowing coals apart and smother each individual flame. The smoke gets thicker and starts to burn in your lungs. You cough and cough, but finally you extinguish the last of the flames. After your coughing has subsided and you have made sure that the owner is not stuck in a nearby crevasse, you take the cans and move on. So we gained a piece of food. Status is we lose a bit of health, but we gain XP. Good. So let's move the can over there. Let me reorganize my inventory a little. Okay, so you can see here the tent has three uses and then the climbing rope has three uses. I got hot tea. Um, okay. Confirm. Level up. Choose your next skill. Okay. Warm thoughts. Whenever you use a consumable item, you get some body temperature back. Preserve energy. Reduced energy cost when moving and climbing. Okay. Take it slow. Um, gain some energy. Body temperature and oxygen when waking up. Hmm. Hmm. Limited time effect. This is a 24-hour thing. This is skill goes until the end. Huh. I think we go for take it slow because this seems to be the best thing. Four energy gain, four body temperature, and four oxygen. I think that's the best one right now. Cool. All right. I think... Where's my inventory? Think we should use the tent and sleep it off tonight. Let's get some long sleep in, right? Uh, not too much of a difference, but it's, there's a huge time difference. I'm going to sleep briefly because we still have enough energy after that sleep. Okay. Okay. So we used the tents once, so we only have two uses left here. Marvelous. It's still nighttime, but we got to keep moving, I think. Okay, let's keep going. Maybe I didn't need to. I don't know. Maybe I wasted it. I'm not sure. Well, it is what it is. It's got to be cold tomorrow. Death zone is 6,000 meters. Is this like Mount Everest, to be honest? Oh my god, look at that. Yo, the auroras. That is so cool. Anyway. Ay, ay, ay. I'm unsure. I am unsure. I think I did. I think it was good to use the tent. It's good practice. So we should be in good shape. I think we continue this way. We're going to. Hmm. I'm curious because perhaps we don't even need to go there. Where am I? Okay, I'm stuck there. Gotta keep moving that way, right? Yeah, let's keep moving that way for now then. We're gonna pass this cave. Because we can't sleep at caves, apparently. Oh, there was a cave right here. I'm a dingus. Okay, we gotta, we gotta keep an eye open. Gotta stay frosty. Oh, it's snowing. Okay. Oh, something happened. Weather. The weather can change every morning. You can see the current weather in the forecast for the next day at the lower level of the screen. There are three different types of weather. Yeah, I just saw. So clear weather, friendly weather with no negative effects for your character. Just enjoy your climb. Okay. Cold weather has a negative impact on your body temperature, especially at night. Try equipping some warm clothing. Okay. Stormy weather has a negative impact on your energy and time cost and reduces your visual range. Copy that. So right now it's cold. Uh, weather tomorrow is stormy gonna go to this treasure here 
And then we can start climbing up to this treasure afterwards. Is there a cave somewhere in the near distant future? I don't know. We'll have to see. All right. On a rocky ledge a few feet below you, you spot a tree stump with the wild herbs growing on it. I'll use the energy. The stems have gone moldy at the base, but you still managed to gather a handful of usable herbs. Marvelous. Not sure how these help. Helps with sanity. Okay. Confirm. Let's go up here then. Because I feel like we've made some good progress here. Although I do need to make camp soon. Hmm. Let's see. Whoa, what's that? Okay. You climb into, up into a crooked, rickety deer stand built by hunters to survey the terrain and shelter from the elements. A pile of soft furs on the floor looks awfully inviting. You consider taking a rest. A gutted deer hangs from the ceiling. The meat is fresh and juicy. Your mar mouth starts to water. I stop to rest. I eat some of the meat. Take some of the meat and leave a gift. Continue my journey. What? What is this? What do I lose? You have hot tea. I'm leaving tea? Ooh, that is difficult. I stop to rest. Your limbs feel heavy and you struggle to keep your eyes open. Why fight your exhaust? You feel safe and secure here before long. You are embraced by a velvety darkness. You don't know how long you were asleep, but you feel now feel invigorated and bolder than ever before. Wow, that was good. A lot of experience. Body temp has dropped a little, but energy has regained. That's good. That was helpful. Very helpful. Okay, let's skill. Let's get a skill. Controlled breathing increases oxygen gain per hour. Increase maximum oxygen. Okay. Uh, faster movement. Reduce time cost when moving. Uh, warm thoughts. Whenever you use a consumable item. Okay, that returns. Faster movement is only for 24 hours though. Um, let's do the oxygen. I want to see how this impacts us. Okay. Increase oxygen gain per hour. Nice. Um, where do we go? Where do we go? I guess we go here. Let's continue. Hmm. Like, that is quite far. Uh, hope I do find some more equipment. Maybe I can go hunting or something soon. And I also have to keep a good lookout for everything in the area. Because I have been missing stuff. Because I wasn't careful with how I was looking. Um, nothing by the looks of it in the area, so I would say we're making some good progress. Okay, it's nightfall. I need to find a cave system. So, oh, there's a cave right there. There's a cave right there. I need to sleep here, please. Okay. Let's go to the cave and then rest out the night. Um, oh, what is this? You see at night, I see a lot more stuff. Because these things are glowing. Hmm. Maybe I should go there in the morning. Oh, you hear footfalls and heavy breathing behind you. You whip around to see a man running towards you. He is clad in furs, a bow slung across his back. His eyes are full of hatred, but you're more worried about the hunting knife clutched in his fist. Guess I run away? Do I even... Can I even fight? I don't have any equipment. I might lose health. Run away. You run and don't look back. You just keep running. You tell yourself. You don't stop until long after a furious shouting has faded away. Finally, you collapse on top of a rock. You are panting. Every breath is like a fire in your lungs. No sign of the stranger. You escaped. Okay. So we lost a bit of sanity. Lost a bit of energy, but we gained XP. Good. Whoa. What? Oh, let's go into the cave and rest it out. You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. I lie down and sleep here. Um, I would say just sleep briefly. Body temperature goes up, oxygen goes up, and energy restored. So we sleep briefly. Marvelous. Boom. Good. Okay, seems like that's that. Let's do the long, arduous climb to whatever this is. It looks like some kind of religious thing, right? I'm interested to see 
what comes out of this. Um, we still got a long way to go to the side. Oh, God. What? Oh, there we go. There's something on the other side as well. Oh, dear. This is a bit glitchy. The camera's a bit glitchy. Something right... Oh, okay, there's a cave system right there. What is this? It's an interactable by the looks of it. Um, So many things in the distance. Look at that. May have to hit every single one of them as we go up. And that's the summit. That is the summit. Hmm. Let's see what this is. You enter an expansive cave. Countless stalacites. Sta sta stalactites. Tights hang from its ceiling, some of which are longer than your arm. Water droplets trickle gently from the tips of the stalactites tight onto the rocks and on into the pools below. The soothing trickling sound they make as they land leaves you feeling calm and relaxed. The rock formations must be many thousands of years old, dating back to before the first traces of people on this island. It makes you happy to think that anything could endure for so long. You two are here to achieve something that will outlast you, something people will talk about for years to come. Sanity and XP gained. Nice. Um. Okay, so we have to go around to this. Do I even think? Do I even think that is necessary? Jeez. Okay. Hmm. So it's best to avoid all this, I guess. What is this? Why? Why is there exclamation points? Seems like, okay, so this is the best way to get up to the summit. So let me just go this way for now. Oh, God. Uh, let me delete that. Yeah, okay. So let's go here first because this is the way to go. Seems like we have to, or what about this place? Stop here for a moment. Yeah, let's go to the treasure. I think, oh, God, sorry. Let's go to the treasure. I think there is something worthwhile at the treasure chests using quite a bit of energy though I need to get to this cave ASAP afterwards to rest up and regain some body temp oh hold on okay so we hit this good a tent hastily erected against a side of against the side a rock wall catches your a tent hastily erected against the side of a rock wall. That's an issue. Spelling error. Or grammatic error. Catches your attention. As you get closer. You discover a sleeping mountaineer. His clothes are torn in pieces. And you can tell by his face. That he is in bad shape. You can't say how long he has left to live. Or whether he will make it. I try to treat his injuries. I don't have a med kit. Bandage. Yeah. Uh, I try to help him. I look through his provisions. Oh come on. That's, that's a bit bleak isn't it? Try to help him. You roll the stranger into a recovered position and speak him into a soothing voice. He opens his eyes and looks at you, bewildered. His strength appears to be coming back, so you help him to sit up. He is very grateful and shares his provisions with you while you assure that he will be all right from now on. We get a warm cap. Nice. And some sanity and some experience. Great. Uh, terrain types. There are three different types of terrain. Rock, snow, and ice. Each type consists of basic standard terrain and additional terrain subtypes. The cost of moving on and any type of terrain depends on your character's equipment and skills. Terrain subtypes can involve additional costs or may trigger dangerous events. Rock, standard terrain, no special properties. Rubble, subterrain, can trigger dangerous events. Grass, terrain, subterrain, no special properties. So that's easy, that's easy. This is a difficult one. Uh, snow, standard terrain, no special properties. Terrain subtype can trigger dangerous events, snowdrifts. Uh, terrain subtype requires higher energy cost. Okay, no special properties. Terrain subtype can trigger dangerous events and uh, requires higher time and body temperature cost. Okay, so I guess this is based on the yellow and then the blue. Yellow is danger possibility it's like an RNG type of event and then blue is very dangerous where it's either energy time and body temp okay i'm gonna put the hat on keep my body temp up i think that's gonna be worth it confirm um okay level up uh under the stars body temperature per hour when resting in events okay fresh air uh reduced time cost when moving and climbing while oxygen is high okay that feels like a good thing to have uh gain more energy and body temperature after waking up hmm Okay, 
I think we may do this one first because I feel like it will be more important to move quicker and more effectively. Now, the thing is I have to go to a base camp, so let's quickly make it through there. We got two dangerous events. Or rather, I should say not dangerous events, but we're using a lot more energy to walk through those areas. Hmm. Oh, there's something up there. I have to be smart with how I progress. I need to find all the good, like, base camps so that I can rest and stay sane. Oh, it's daytime. Oh, it's a blizzard. Deary me. This is going to be problematic, right? Storm. Yeah, energy cost for climbing increased. So I need to go in here. And rest up. Come on, let's go. Jeez, that's a crevasse down here. Alright. You enter an extensive network of caves. Towards the rear, you notice an extinguished campfire lying in front of it as a stranger bundled up under a fur blanket. Um, I wake the stranger. You approach the mountaineer, but he doesn't react. You bend over and gently shake him. He murmurs something incomprehensible and rolls over onto his other side. He doesn't seem to want to talk to you. Okay, you are once again in the vast entrance to the cave. Lie down and sleep. I'm going to sleep here. We're going to get an extensive rest today because we need the energy. We've used a lot of energy today to climb this far. And just like that, we're done. Okay. Let's see. Summit is where? I can't even see the summit. Oh, God. We're in a bad place. Hold on. Oh, there's a bit of music playing. Can I see the summit, please? Oh, my visibility is low because of the storm. Okay, okay. Question is... I think I'm going to go this way. Oh, God, there's two dangerous terrains. Okay, let's go this way. What I'm going to do is try and force my way over to this base camp. There's a lot of stuff in this area as well. And we're going to try and continue to climb. Okay. A local man sitting up against a rock waves at you, uh, waves you over. As you approach him, he holds out an oxygen bottle, his face contorted with pain. He says something to you, but you don't understand a word. Uh, I guess I take the oxygen bottle. You still wait the oxygen bottle and nod your goodbye. The stranger raises his voice, but you're already out of earshot. Did I just steal an oxygen bottle off this guy? <laughs> well, I mean, he offered it. He didn't fight anything. Alright. This way, maybe? Treasure? Bit of treasure never hurt anyone, I guess. Um, okay. Actually, this is the way to go. I think. Oh, wait. There's a base camp right there. I'm going to go to the base camp first. And then maybe make my way over this way. Okay. You come across a ruined foundation of a former dwelling. Herbs are growing in a recess. Just as you are about to gather them, a protruding stone catches your eye. It looks like it can be moved. Some kind of switch, perhaps. Um, I flip the switch. Flip, flip. <laughs> um, yeah, screw it. You push the switch, but it jams. You press it harder until the bends, uh, beads of sweat form on your forehead. Then there's a click and a clag, and a secret compartment opens up on the floor. Your heart leaps with joy. Inside, there's a valuable equipment. <gasps> Hiking staff, nice. Let's take it. Hiking staff. Less or uh, twelve percent less energy cost on flat terrain, twelve percent less time when climbing, one height difference. Okay. So those are gloves I'm assuming and those are boots. What is this? No, no. What is this? What can I put in there? No? No, I can't use that. Okay, well, confirm. We got some good stuff. Um, I want to go this way. Can I survive this trap? Okay, I can survive. Oh, wait, hold on. Level up. Let me... Uh, controlled breathing 2. Significantly increased oxygen gain per hour. Maximum oxygen increased as well. Significantly increased oxygen gain for a time. Oh, this is a 48 hours thing. Um, okay. I don't think experience is too necessary right now. Uh, oxygen per hour when moving, change per hour when resting. Um, 
but increase sanity loss until the end of the mission per hour when moving. Oh. Well, I'm just going to do this because this has no real negative buffs. So let's go. This is going to cut it close, but I think we should be okay. Okay. 